I'm so filled with love. I'm so filled with this like life force energy that I want to feel other people with that just like poor my love that I cultivated but improving those relationships with myself and getting deeper more intimate even like today I felt like crying all day possibly long but I implemented dancing into my crying <laughs> this is how we do it this is how we be your friend just like keep keep being your own cheerleader you're like Let's go. <laughs> no matter what you're doing, then we're like, <sighs> well done. And you're you're your best friend. I am my best friend. You're your best friend. And I'm my own mother. I'm my own father. The thing is missing so badly right now is the community. Hmm. That's something unique on my journey, I think. I and like now I realize that I always had this access to people <laughs> to exchange the energies, to exchange through dancing, through laughing, through like through dance most of the time when I chose to go to society. Music was uniting us. So I am special and chocolate groove in Toronto. I miss both of those communities now. I'm having my own parties <laughs> like I had today. Well, but it's been challenging to find such communities in Astana, in Kazakhstan. I think when you're like new to the city, that's, that sounds very crazy, like I'm new to the city. I mean, not crazy, but just, I lived here for 18 years and then I, didn't live here for seven years and now i'm super new to the city <laughs> like i know zero it feels like it feels like this and i'm trying to like do this research just like ecstatic dance like da 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 drum circles and i found like tiny bit of stuff yesterday yesterday after being two months and a half here maybe i've done that research before but <laughs> i tried i tried my best um the seo optimization is not good at least in those communities, what I'm looking for. Um, I guess it is possible to find your people when you live here and when you're occupied with something. Through like this occupation, through even events, but they're not really happening here. A lot. Yeah, I don't know, like, say, such a blah blah blah. But I'm missing people. I do choose solitude most of the time anyways, but it's nice, it's so nice to have opportunity to go somewhere and and to know that you have someone. I've been very <laughs> vulnerable around this topic lately because it feels like it's not that I'm looking for someone to fulfill me, it's that I do realize and understand the value and the importance of human connection. <laughs> and I do interact with my parents, grandparents, my siblings. But still, it feels different when it's like your blood family. And when it's your chosen family, your tribe. The blood family was also my tribe, but someone... I can't really vibe with them in some other ways um, that I can do with people I choose to be. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, interesting to notice myself being in this vulnerability around this topic because I'm like, whoa, I never really felt that craving for community, even like once a month, you know, like I don't need a lot, maybe more, <laughs> now I'm ready for more, but yeah, it feels interesting to be in this moment, to experience it. And the realization I had is that I'm so filled with love. I'm so filled with this like life force energy that I want to feel other people with that. Just like poor my love that I cultivated for many months of solitude. And 
it's yeah but then i'm learning to implement all this loving energy which is just like exploding uh for me into creativity and i try experiment what creativity is for me and what is creation like how to transform this life force uh, into new creations but then i'm like okay i'm ready to create with other people too <laughs> I want to work on some projects or something, whatever. Just vibe to music. Even like I'm vibing myself and I... Oof, today was an incredible day of full of dancing. Literally the reminder for myself that this is my element. That I gotta practice this more. Just dance to life. Through daily routine, which I'm doing. More often, more often, move your body, more often. <laughs> but then I'm like, oh, remember how it's like dancing with other people? Who are just like in your energy, it's like... Poof, 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 all around the room it's just it is phenomenal <laughs> and it's been a journey of learning to attract my tribe even though in Toronto I felt lonely for a while I've been like leaving many group of people like many for six years you know, from one mm, 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 I'm like, trying to find where I actually can learn and thrive and have fun and cultivate deeper connection and have like shared these values that I have, that I embody myself. And only on my last year in Toronto, I found um, Chocolate Grove, which became my soul family. I didn't really interact a lot with people there, but no, I, like I was going there by myself and I'm like, feeling like home all the time like from the first event I went there I felt like home because you just can be like this and no one is touching you and then you can be like this and people want to hug with you and talk with you and love la 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 just <laughs> wow, it feels nice just like how understand it understand it they are you know you they feel your vibe you're not in talkative mood and they're like it's just vibe oh, thank you <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's the life of being a nomad. I guess moving from one place to another and not attaching to anything at all. Um, yeah. But I was attached, like I was giving, like, I mean, attached just like cultivated a very deep connection with animals <laughs> like during, during my last travels that most of the beings were cats, dogs, uh, horses, donkeys, sheep with whom I cultivated such deep connection and then I have to leave them <laughs> that was fun learning how to <laughs> not fun <laughs> how to energetically transfer to the animal without words and I hope they understood me that that I'm leaving them <laughs> because I want to <laughs> because I'm moving on somewhere <laughs> because of my flight tickets <laughs> and I have to go Lily can you understand Pooper can you understand <laughs> yeah all those moments just showed how much I can love how deep I can love how my heart can expand <laughs> Yeah, and that's beautiful when I reflect. But I still, ooh, <laughs> but I still cry when I talk about it because this is how it's like being human. <laughs> yeah, and it's nice to move around. Like even when I lived six years in Toronto, I lived like in seven different places or more, like different areas, and I'm like still like a nomad. First of all, coming from Kazakhstan at the first place, yeah. Uh, but it's nice, even like I lived here for two months and a half, and there's like kids at the playground in front of my house and say hello to the people you see almost every day. It's like, whoa, I'm getting this vibe of community. Whoa. But it's a such an empowering and beautiful journey of being with everything. And just keep spreading 
love in every aspect of my day, like with people at the grocery store and whenever, whatever. Mm. Yeah. That's an interesting chapter. Just keep improving my skills of being my best friend, my own best friend, every single day and having fun with myself, always. I never stopped, I never stopped having, but improving those relationships with myself and getting deeper, more intimate. Even like today, I felt like crying all day, possibly long. But I implemented dancing into my crying. <laughs> uh, Intervinded, intervining, intervining. That's the word I'm looking for, intervining. Yeah. <laughs> That that day, this day became wow, <laughs> and I recorded myself dancing as well because I know I dance good, and I'm like, and then I watched the videos of me dancing, and I'm like, I dance good. <laughs> it's just shut out from myself. Dancing. This is how we do it. This is how we be your friend. Just like keep keep being your own cheerleader. You're like, let's go. <laughs> no matter what you're doing, then we're like. <laughs> Well done. And you're your you're best friend, I am my best friend, you're your best friend. And I'm my own mother, I'm my own father, I'm my own family. I'm my own tribe. There are all personalities in me. And I see them more clearly. During these times when I'm silent and I have so much time for myself. Oh, I'm gonna eat potatoes and lentils. Good energy. I don't need the negativity around me. Mm. High frequency. Mm. It is a lifelong journey of learning to feel the love inside of you always, every single moment, and feel that I'm never alone. Trees are always screaming whenever I feel like the loneliest in the way in terms of human connection I go outside and I'm like trees are literally screaming that they love me so much and how proud of they are of me and oh we communicate all the time and that feels so precious so precious <sighs> and I do have spiritual spirit family all around the world and remembering to appreciate it all the time it's so important so important and it opens up so many opportunities having family around the world and that's the beauty of being nomad and keep exploring the earth keep connecting with all the energies around this beautiful planet and connecting with different energies different textures <laughs> it is so awesome so i'm grateful for the journey and I love people, I love humans, thank you. <laughs>